This original coal power steam engine train is 126 years old today. It's running on a stretch of 45 miles from Durango to Silverton. This takes about three and one half hours and it was built in the 1880s, taking us through Colorado's pristine, beautiful wilderness. Our six day backpack trip is 40 miles long. Our train leaving from Durango will take us to Elk Park in almost three hours and in six days the train will take us back from the Needleton station and in another film clip I'll share the trip details with you. After visiting the town of Silverton, we went to Durango and um, the next morning we took the train and um, we rode through the old part of town first and then it takes you through the nearby countryside and after that you end up going through the Animas Valley, uh, riding along the Animas River. We were watching on the platform, but I didn't get a chance to talk to you folks. A few things about the train. Restrooms. Back of that coach there. Back of the coach, two cars up. Okay? There's no smoking anywhere on the train. It's three and a half hours till we get there, okay? Uh, let's see. There's no standing or riding on the platforms between the cars. Uh, clearances. Major rocks. Eight inches off the side of this. So make sure you know what's coming up along the side before you stick anything off the side. Finally, if you've got little ones, make sure you hang on to them if they go out of this car. Okay? I'll be around throughout the day to answer any questions you may have. Welcome aboard. Hi. Thank, Thank you. you. This engine will chug along, climbing steady up to a 3% grade. It's over 9,000 feet altitude in this area. And this little engine has to do it all. This area is the High Line area and it was blasted out from the San Juan Mountains creating this treacherous pass by miners hauling out silver and gold in the 1880s. Sometimes the Animas River is 400 feet below. There was a derailment back here in the 1900s from he very heavy snow. Well, you got to come back. I'll take some here.
pass through the Needleton Mountains as well as passing through the Needleton Station where we'll end our trip. An hour later, we wave goodbye to our friends on the train. No one else gets off at this stop, and very few folks actually got out on Needleton, which is very surprising. Six days later, the last train of the day is heading back to Durango. We catch it with just five minutes to spare at 4.30. Wow, after hiking 12 miles down the mountain, you have to stay tuned now for the six day trekking to these wonderful San Juan Mountains.